here he comes. There he is. Nice fish. <sighs> Boom, there he is. Mike here with Shields Outdoors. Got ourselves a beautiful winter day here, and we're gonna cover five of our top favorite panfish lures. So I'm sure there's gonna be some that you feel are snubbed from this list. So if you have one that you really like, go ahead and put it in the comments below. But the plan for today is uh, we're out, we've got some basins out here. And what we're gonna do is I have a Garmin Pan Optics. I'm gonna scan around. I'm gonna try and find some schools of crappie roaming these basins. We're gonna try and target them there. We're gonna take for rod setup number one, setup number two, setup number three, and we're gonna we're gonna show the action on these jigs and uh, and how they work. Hopefully we catch some fish. Hopefully they cooperate. So let's do this. Let's start drilling some holes. All right, so we're gonna go through our whole arsenal here of our uh, of our five favorite panfish lures. The first one is gonna be the Dave Gens Clam Drop Kick Jig. So this is a tungsten. It's got a hook placed at a 45 degree angle. You know, it sits in the water, kind of like that angle there. And it has a better hookup ratio with that. Uh, it's just a great crappie lure, dropping down to them fast, getting those schools, getting multiple ones out of the school. Pair, I pair it here with a Mackie minnow. And what I've actually done is I've cut the front part of that Mackie minnow. So it just has a little bit smaller profile. That's all about preference there. You can leave it the way it is. Uh, it's just kind of the great thing about plastics in general is you can manipulate them to be whatever you want them to be, whatever you feel the most confident in. There we go, He's starting to rise. There's one, nice. Okay. So one thing about this is we're in about 40 feet of water and I'm pulling this one up from about oh, 30 foot. So we're gonna keep these fish. Um, they may end up going down, but they may not survive it anyways. But the good thing is we've got a what's cooking series where we're gonna do some fresh crappie. All right, there it is. The Gens Tungsten Strikes. Second one, we have the Tika Minnow. This one, I have the smallest size here. And the Tika Minnow is just, it, it's a, this one's a mini glide bait, so you can fish really aggressively with it. You can target the bigger fish out of the school with it. And what I like to do is I like to give them some pretty good rips right away, and then when I have the fish's interest, I'll slow it down a little bit and I'll get a little more subtle with my jigs, and then I'll keep rising it to kind of take that bait away from them. So one other thing I'd like to mention about this Tika minnow is it's a one piece construction. So it's really durable and um, it's really mimicking a fleeing bait fish action. When you pop your rod, it's gonna dart all over the place. So it's really got this erratic action to it that triggers a fish strike. Oh, starting to get a larger one to rise. Here we go, I'm gonna try and play keep away a little bit. There he is. Feels like a pretty decent. Oh, he got off. Dang it, there's still a school down there. Let's see if I can get another one. Should have set the hook a little harder on him. There he is. He looked up over there. Oh, yeah, he's fighting good. This is a nice fish. You tend to get some of the more aggressive ones in the school when you're using these baits like the Tikas. Yeah, that's a great crappie. Perfect. Third one, we have another tungsten. So this tungsten's a little bit different. This one is the Acme Sling Blade. So this Acme Sling Blade, you can see that it's a free swinging hook. And what that does is it creates a really natural movement in the water. You know, you can glide it a lot and it's just gonna flow freely and look look a lot like a bait fish or just something natural in the water. And it is flat out effective. And I'm using my wife's rod, so it's reeling the other way. So I gotta switch. Let's see if we can get one on this sling blade. Okay, again, tungsten, you can drop real fast. Love it with that plastic, staying right above them. Okay, here's one rising. 
There he is. Oh, I missed him. I'm going to blame that with uh, being the other way around than I'm used to. There we go. Got him. Ooh, this one's definitely a nicer one. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. He's staying down. Okay. Wow, he hit it hard too. Yeah, Acme Sling Blade, there we go. Nice fish. Love it. Just jigging right above him. That sling blade with that free swinging hook, just a natural movement, draws him right in. Fourth one, we have the pinhead minnow. So the pinhead minnow, this one is a vertical bait. You fish it without bait, without plastic, without anything, just as is. And um, it's got the minnow profile. And what this is, is it's a for intended for upward feeding fish. So you've got the minnow head on the bottom and you've got that blade that's attracting them in there. And so what you want to do is you definitely want to you definitely want to jig above the fish. You can get really aggressive with this. You can get a little bit subtle. Again, I like to do those small twitching motions once the fish is coming up to inspect it. And it's a great, great option for crappies and panfish. And then the last thing with this pinhead minnow, with this downward minnow construction here, it's basically an injured minnow profile. So a fish's natural instinct when a, when a bait fish is injured is to come and attack it. And with that downward profile, the fish that are below it and like to upward feed, it's just perfect for those. It's one you can, uh, it's one you can be pretty aggressive with. You can call fish in from a distance. Yeah, here one comes up. He's coming. Yep, there we go. Got him. Nice. He smacked that pinhead hard. Ooh. There he is. Pinhead minnow does the job. And then the very last one we have is the Z Viber Micro from Euro Tackle. So I really like this lure. So it comes actually with a single hook and it also has a treble hook in the package with it. So you can put on whichever one you prefer. I'm leaving the single hook on this one. And what's cool about this lure is it, uh, it wobbles a lot in the water and it's got a little rattle in there too so you can call fish with that rattle from a longer distance. So we'll see if I can't get hooked up here. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm jigging this not up and down a lot but I'm just trying to make it wobble and really get that rattle to call them in and it looks like we got one coming right now. We got a few of them right under us. Let's see if we can't get them to rise a little bit. There's a couple of them interested. It's good to play keep away with this. You know, like if you got multiple fish interested in your bait, it's likely that one of them's gonna come and hit it. There it is. Nice. Got him on the Z Viber. Oh, this is a nice one too. Ooh, come on, buddy. Hang on, hang on. Ah, there we go. Woo, just hammered that Z Viber. So playing keep away is the name of the game with that one. Dropped it next to the school and started rising up to try and get it away, caused some competition and uh, he smacked it. There we go. Well, caught fish on all five of our lures. Um, if you wanna pick any of these up, you can find them at any of our Shields locations or online at shields.com. Uh, you got any questions, leave them in the comments of this video and good luck fishing.